And Hawk is going to have his work cut out for him. He showed us against Sheik just a moment ago how strong he can be in the matchup. But Happy, perhaps the strongest player in the world right now, is expected to be the favorite here, certainly. So let's go in. We're starting off on Marienburg. Alright, so there should be no vetoes here. We should have all five maps in the pool, which of course kind of has to make sense that way. With a full best of five series if we do go there. Oh, that's a wonderful graveyard positioning. Far forward, able to cut down lots of trees. And oftentimes keep some space in the back of the base. You want to have the Tomb of Relics in the back to be protected. Because it's one of the most vulnerable buildings to easily repair. And if you want to try hard, really hard, you can also cut down some trees here and then place the slaughterhouse in the back. But Happy pretty much never does that, so I wouldn't expect this. So it's going to be a standard opening here from both. Many units out there like playing Crypt Lord Fast Expansion. Happy is definitely not one of them. So the AM can creep this camp first, but if he does, I'm pretty sure Happy would be coming in for the DK harass. In which case, it might be a bit disastrous. Replenishment potion for the DK. Very good item. As before statues, Anna doesn't have any source of effective healing. Of course, there's Blight and uh, Aura, and I guess nowadays Ritual dagger, but it's not really good. Tech starting now for Happy. Hawk just forcing a bit of resource out of his opponent. Forcing the Nerob, forcing the Acolyte off the line just by the tiniest amount. Oh, and Happy used the Replenishment Potion really early, in fact. It's taken Hawk a little bit here to get to level 2. Oh, and if he doesn't get the last, he doesn't even get level 2. But one skeleton would be good enough as well. Happy, however, sends it away really quickly. And Happy would absolutely love to steal this last hit. Hawk already under a bit of pressure here to pull off this camp uh, properly. And I think he should get it here in the end. With the water elemental being left behind. Oh no! Hawk pulls back the water elemental, which is a pretty big mistake. The elemental could have finished the camp by now, but at least he got the skeleton. He got the level 2. But Happy knows he can steal this item and gets... Yeah, gets the slippers for it. And the last hit here, the DK gets the level 2, and the big creep is still up for grabs. Oh boy. Quite a few peasants endangered as well. One footy is gonna go down. The big one is the last hit, and Hog gets it, crucially. Gets the last hit and the item, Claws plus 9. Good items for Hawk. But not too many. There are some villagers around, unusual critters, which uh, have a lot more HP than normal critters, but it can be used very similarly. Also, I guess they don't walk, they just stand still. Little doggo. Oh, and he's actually making the slaughterhouse way in the back. Wow, this is something that Happy rarely paid attention to. But nowadays, perhaps he does. Very good game so far by Happy. The only thing he didn't get was the big last hit here at 
the gold mine, but that wasn't really his mistake. That was just Hawk playing around it very well. And now he's extremely close to the level 3. Tech coming in really early. Even before the expansion is finished, however, I guess you could say that the expansion timing wasn't super fast. Two more peasants going down, but now the arcane finishes, and that's going to limit Happy's ability here to do big damage. Tech for Happy, fairly fast. 30 supply, slaughterhouse, ziggurat, and then the tech is pretty much the fastest you can do it. Well, that's not true. You can do it faster, but that doesn't seem to be a very good build. Oh, one more peasant died in the main. No arcane tower here. Hog does have to defend here nice and early. But especially against Happy, you don't want to use these footies too carelessly. Because Happy's always going to kite perfectly. You're never going to get a fiend kill. Only thing you're going to do is lose footies. He can use them as a threat though. He can always keep them close to Happy's army and engage if Happy starts creeping. But he should not engage into a fight if Happy isn't creeping. Or attacking Hawk's base. Thank you, Puffy, with a 10 month resub. Says, love you guys, you're the best of the best. Oh, thank you very much, my man. Much appreciated. Hawking. Hawking? What? No. no. Hawk finding the timing to go for a push here into Happy's base. If some acolytes go down, this would be very painful. But the AM getting attacked already. Perfect positioning on the statue. Very important to have that in the right place to keep the acolytes alive. And acolytes will in fact survive all of them. But Hawk also didn't lose too much. I think he lost only one footy there. He's healing up with a replenish. And this is a good game by Hawk. This is a really clean game. Only mistake here was with this little null dude. But other than that, it's looking good. Very hard to wall off this expansion. To make it hard for the under to attack. Happy creeping on the high ground, finds a big healing potion. Can be nice, can also be useless, however. Hawk now, perhaps being a little over-aggressive. Could have known that the tech was about to finish. He's not going to get the ziggurat. And these footies are important resources. You don't want to waste them too, away too easily. Later on, when the push hits, these footmen will be valuable. So it's going to be two more going down here. And that was the double level up for Happy. And he's going to snipe another footy. With that level 2 coil. A player's force is under attack. One of Mana Steel, that's a really good find, I think. Coiling over aggressively against the footman. And this is what I was talking about. This is classic European human stuff. You're having a good game, you're in a good position, and then at some point you throw all of your footies away. Hawk could have four, maybe five more footmen at this point, which he may need for when the push hits. Happy creeping up in the middle. He has the perfect read of where his opponent is. Picked up the item already, right? Yeah, puts off Quelthalas. And Hawk's gonna have to back up. He got his item, however, already himself. One of mana steel. And it's gonna be more footies going down. One, two, and a third. And suddenly, Hawk only has two footmen to bridge the time until tier three. Along with his heroes, of course. Double workshop, Sanctum. Hawk has been starting to play... Uh, what's it called? Breakers again, as we've seen before. Which are not that good against fiends compared to knights. But definitely can be very helpful against Banshees. And Happy nowadays does go for a Banshee transition late game. As we can see here, first temple up already, second temple coming right after. Player's 
Argus gonna try his best again to harass and buy time. But one single destroyer can deal with this harass. I'm kind of surprised Happy isn't sending back the destroyer. Very surprised, in fact. And killing these ghouls is gonna matter. That's gonna make it a lot harder to transition into Banshees with Master Training. Ziggurat. Oh, repair too late. It's gonna be the Ziggurat going down as well. Happy feels forced to TP back home. It's gonna trigger a counter TP. And this definitely wasn't perfectly done by Happy. He loses one Acolyte. And Happy making one or two mistakes here. Remade, however, lots of ghouls. So with four ghouls, again, it's gonna have plenty of lumber. Selling some items. Keeps the Agi on the Lich almost always. But Hawk bought a lot of time for himself here. Going tanks! Wow. I haven't seen that against Happy in a long time. Destroyer scouting is on point. And Happy's right around the corner for the next Creepjack. MK still not level 2. A on the level 4. And it's going to be very hard for Hawk to find his levels here. A player's forces are under attack. Master training coming in for Happy. He's going to need Web as well soon. That's why he's got the four ghouls to have all the lumber necessary. I've also seen him do it with only three ghouls though, but four certainly makes it a lot easier. Hawk desperately trying to get some experience. But Happy is always on his heels. Trying to get the big item. It's a bit consumable. But Happy gets it, of course. Grabs the heal awards. Jesus Christ. Happy is absolutely allowing nothing. It's going to be the pally going down. The staff was on cooldown as it saved a knight, I believe. Oh my god, and now the MK. Oh my god. It's just like a great white shark. He does let us get... Let's let his uh, prey get away. It's just ruthless. Hawk creeping now, but only on the AM and happy again. Right on his heels. Jesus Christ. Sick game by happy. Just... Moving across the map so well. And that knight, I think, is going to be stolen, right? Yeah. Boom. First knight possessed. Oh, tanks in the main. Wait a second. I didn't even see this. Zeppelin. Tanks. You got to remember, though. They give a lot of experience nowadays. Well, not really a lot. Considering how hard they are to kill, they still give pretty little XP. But a lot more than before. Yeah, I think that's the right word that Chad is using. Bullied. Hawk is getting bullied all the time. Not able to get a foot off the ground here. Or on the ground, I should say. Is he going for more tanks? No. More teams now. So I think the idea for Hawk was use the two tanks, force the other army back, creep as much as you can in the meantime. But Happy kept his main safe with mostly ghouls only and repair and prevented almost all enemy creeping for a long time. Hawk now finally is getting some decent XP, but a lot of these camps, the items are already gone. The AM has these claws, like from the early game, but he's got hardly any other items. Now he finally has a one of mana steel as well, which isn't the greatest item though, whereas Happy has tons of items. Ruined Bracers, Heal Potion, Mana Steel, he just found the Legion Doomhorn, he sold some items earlier, the Lich got Claws and Agi and everything. Finally, Hawk's gonna get a good camp. He's gonna get the red camp here. And he needs something big. Because Happy is almost uh, at his ultimate army status. Banshees and Fiends. And 
Happy might just be coming in at the perfect moment to disrupt again. Yeah, Hawk's gonna have to TP out here. Question is, is he gonna try to get the big creep? Or is he gonna play it safe and TP out before? Ooh, this is really scary already. Alright. Last hit and item goes to Hawk. Medallion of Courage, very good. But he lost two mortar teams for it. Hawk scouts the expansion. Where did the tank go? Ah, oh, there it is. I think it may have gotten staffed home. And now happy with 5-5 five, five hero levels. That's what playing dual hero gives you. If you play it well, of course. Is having 5-5 five, five quickly. And then having super strong call Nova. And heavily out-leveling the human. And there he goes. Bye-bye, Pally. Staff was still on cooldown. Lesser Undeads will oftentimes lose their Banshees quickly to a couple of Mortar Teams. But Happy, of course, always perfectly moves them, minimizes damage as much as he can. AM there, very close to dying as well. But Hawk's Forces, it may say 70 Supply, but they look laughable. And Happy still with a huge army left. Counter Expansion is prevented here. But I don't even think Happy needs it necessarily. Last second dog ritual to give absolutely nothing to the human forces. One Banshee now finally dies, but another possession has come through. And these knights are so good against the breakers with the sundering blades. And the AM. Oh, was about to die as the Lich ate the fiend. But if he can't get the AM, I guess he's gonna take out the mortar teams. Another possession coming in, and the Archmage. Gonna fall down, which should signal the end here. GG called 1-0 for happy. Decent early game for Hawk. In the late game against happy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do. But Hawk has been able to beat happy before. Very recently. On ladder, however, on some maps. But winning a series against Happy always seems so tough. Our next map will be a Rivulet. Hmm. Didn't you say Frostfire before? I guess not. Happy here again, looking like the dominant force that we know him to be. Pretty fitting, I guess, that he's gonna win the No Smoking Cup again, as he certainly is not a smoker. Neither is Hawk, honestly. Like, all the top European Warcraft players, they all have zero vices. Hawk, Sonic, Happy, Foggy, they don't drink, they don't smoke. Okay, Hawk very rarely will drink if we're all partying, but not much, just a little bit. They're all very healthy. And good folks. Unlike the casters. <laughs> Dude, after ESL Meisterschaft, Neo, Slash, and I, we had a little too much to drink. Honestly, Monday morning was the worst hangover I've had in years. It was so bad. <sighs> But that's how it goes sometimes. Alright, we're ready for map two. Let's go to Rivulet.
What about Blade? Yeah. Blade does certainly drink. He is not of the same mind. He certainly does drink a little bit here and there. Doesn't he? He also likes to drunk text every now and then. <laughs> which... Uh, I myself am somewhat familiar with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, 7G, with a 25-month resub. Everything looking very standard so far. So if Hawk was very ambitious, he could try to creep this camp first. But that's very dangerous. If the DK shows up to harass right away, that might just be GG. And of course on these new maps, the creep routes aren't that developed yet. But I would imagine with the green camp here having all medium armor, this would be a good first one for the DK to go to. Oh my god, Phoenix Fast! Just gifted 20 subs! Holy shit, Phoenix Fast! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much! That is incredibly generous of you. Much appreciated. Acolyte Scout, I'm gonna see, wait, is he playing one base? No, right? No. Hog is gonna start the expansion here before too long, but hasn't quite managed to do it yet. Oh, the DK is coming in. If he stole the last hit here, that would be sick. Doesn't get that one, but he gets the Water Elemental, and that is level two. And it's level two DK harassing when you're trying to expand. That's pretty scary. Happy's got two coils right now, soon to be three. This camp isn't the hardest to creep, but it's also not as easy as Equiles or Tidehunters. That last set is stolen. It's important for the IM here to get close to level three. Okay, got the Magi, that was crucial. Small Brutes, not quite in kill range yet. Oh, there we go. Happy gets the next one. Oh, boy. This AM needs to reach level 3 by the time that the Lich arrives. How much time is that? A player's forces are under About two minutes. About two minutes. Hawk has two minutes to get level 2. He needs it desperately. Level 3, I mean. So if Happy steals the Spider Crab here. Hawk's gonna be in big trouble. Happy knows how important this camp is. Does not want to let Hawk have it too easily. Hawk tries to bait the coil on the small creep. Happy doesn't fall for it. Very nice play between the two. Hawk is trying to make Happy overcommit to doing damage onto the creeps to get the coil last hit, so that he can do damage to the fiends in the meantime. Both playing this on a very high level right now. But Happy uses the last coil, and that means Hawk knows he can get this creep now pretty easily. Trying to push the fiends away with the water elementals and AM. Don't tell me you get the right click kill here. Don't tell me! Okay, didn't get it. This crab would almost be level 3 AM. Almost. And this is about to be here. Very fast tier 3 this time. Tier 3 even before Slaughterhouse, which is 
outrageously fast. Hawk has his own tier 2 coming. Lumber Mill. Lich bringing no items at all. And Happy has successfully kept the AM away from this camp and away from level 3. Which means once Happy has a statue and one or two more fiends out, it's going to be really hard for Hawk to hold on against the pressure. And Phoenix fast with another 20 gifted subs. Going up to 40 gifted subs today. God damn. Phoenix, you are an absolute baller. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Much, much, much appreciated. Ooh, nice save here. Hog would love to get a Fiend around. If he gets a Fiend around, that's going to be almost level 3 for him. Maybe Ho maybe Happy intentionally didn't bring Skeletons or of Necromancy because he knew that it would just be feeding the AM closer to level 3. Oh, Militia Cult though at the green camp. That might finally be level 3 on the AM. This is really expensive in Lumber though. Happy still holding on to the first Nova. Alright, AM finally gets that level 3. Where is the Nova, Happy? What are you doing? He could have landed a couple of perfect Novas here. Into the footies. Tower's coming up now. Blacksmith as well. And here we go. Finally the first Nova comes in. Statue arrives, and now we have lots of regen on the other side. But Hawk, like, if he didn't have statues at uh, level 2 water elements right now, he would be in so much trouble. But with a smart militia move, he got the level 3. Well done. And he does have somehow still enough lumber for tier 3 and MK. But he's gonna have to wait for the workshops. Also, he had to make tons of peasants at the expansion to have the lumber necessary. Happy's tier 3 has got the backpack. We're gonna have the Op of Venom being brought in. Tower positioning is looking decent. Happy nowadays, as we saw before, doesn't all in push the human expansion that much anymore. He goes for a late game Banshee transition, goes into upkeep and tries to have full map control and creep most of the map away. And always play with a lead. Big Mana Potion. Happy's certainly going to appreciate that one. Gets a level 2 on the Lichia as well. And very hard for Hawk to be effective right now. He can't really push into the Undead base. All that stuff's just going to die. He can't really harass. I think the best thing he could do right now is just creep himself, but... Ooh, he's getting caught. Happy's got another Nova. Oh, blocking himself a little bit. Perhaps a small mistake there. But the AM will have to TP after all towards the expo, towards the shop. And this time we have double workshop, double racks. So all out Knights Gyros. But as there's not going to be too many destroyers, it's going to transition into Knights uh, Mortar Teams quite quickly. It's a valuable camp here being taken away from Hawk. Hawk, let's Happy have this camp. Trying to go to the north to creep something there. But guess what Happy's doing? Chasing after Hawk, giving him no room to breathe. That's one of the reasons why Happy's so good in this matchup. And I think one of the reasons why Orc is his weakness. Because Happy against Orc always only plays defensively. Okay. Actually, he's not going to find Hawk here. But he's going to find the red camp, which is also very, very rewarding. May just want to steal the item here and then move on. But seems like he's going to creep it fully. With destroyers, the devour magic ability, creeping these camps is very fast, very efficient. When Happy sends an acolyte to this gold mine, close to the opponent. Interesting. Well, we'll not make it to its destination, though. 
Hawk going into upkeep. We got the knights coming. I oh, need to be careful. This one uh, might be getting trapped. Anyways, what's going on here? Hawk. He knows he can't fight here. But if he runs away, he probably thinks, well, he's just gonna get outrun anyways by the faster rounded army. He's gonna TP out now, finally. Happy could just run south again instantly and cover these two camps. Again, not allowing Hawk anything to creep. Alright, Hawk now sees the tree. That could have been very annoying for him. And guess what Happy's doing? He's coming in right away again. We don't have web yet. The first mistake by Happy. Oh my god, the long range coil. See, it's lasted away. The MK is almost dead. Not quite yet, though. Destroyer. Last second save. Hog's gonna try to fight. But he has very few forces. Only takes out one fiend. That's the first kill he's gotten in a long time. Well, I guess this entire game, in fact. Happy has the big mana... Wait. Wait, what? Where'd the big mana potion go? He used it earlier? Didn't even see that. And Hawk is having... a decent exchange here. Happy still doesn't have web. Only now it's coming in. That was definitely the biggest mistake here by Happy. Lich is in trouble. Has the invul potion. No, oh, the bash! The bash allows for the kill. Lucky moment by Hawk. Sometimes... A little bit of luck is what you need. And now he can even start to take out one or two fiends. And the game is... Perhaps turning in favor of Hawk. As Phoenix Fast comes in with another 10 gifted subs. For a total of 50 gifted subs tonight. Phoenix Fast. You're amazing. Thank you so much. And Hawk is definitely having his best game here so far this series, and his best game against Happy in a long time. Heal Stroll to save the Pally. But he's not exactly safe yet. But the Destroyer is taken out. And a Banshee's gonna fall as well. That's MK level 3. So this is a rough position for Happy. He lost a lot of units, and you usually cannot afford that when you're playing one base versus two. You need to be extremely cost efficient. Against any other undead, Hawk would win this game. Against Happy, we're not so sure yet. By the look of things, Happy's gonna get the next red camp in the bottom right as well. Good levels here for Hawk. 4 3 2. Almost. Happy does have DK level 5, though. Lots of towers coming up here. Happy will scout it. But there's not too much you can do about it. No. More, uh, breaker transition here for Hawk. Also, night upgrades, not crazy yet. At 1 2. What happened yet? Cadgas pipe! Okay. Alright. Alright. That's a game changing item. Hawk with a cannon tower. Two cannon towers coming here. That's pretty cool. Oh, happy. Could get the cancel on all these towers and on the expo. The, all these peasants could die. All these peasants could absolutely die. And the knights are getting stolen! Oh no! The knights are left by themselves! And they're just getting stolen! Oh, Hawk! Going for the expansion, perhaps it was too greedy. Trying to take out the banshees with the can towers, but it's not gonna work. Oh my god, he lost so many resources here. Oh no. Oh no. 
Ay, 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 ay. He's finally got the level talk. The levels he needs. 433. But he doesn't have the numbers anymore. He doesn't have the army anymore to hold on against Happy's onslaught. Oh, man. What a heartbreaker. Let's about to hit level 5 over here as well. So much mana sustained with the Cat Gas Pipe. Gyro's flying in too quickly. It seems like Hawk may have capitulated here already. For once, for once, she gets into a good position against Happy. In the late game. Not in the early game, but in the late game. And then Happy finds the way to turn it around again. 10 supply lead for the undead here. It's looking absolutely overpowering. It's gonna have the double level 5 heroes in a moment. And Hawk needs more army. Way more army. You need like probably 6 more teams to decently take a fight against Banshees. Because three mortar teams are always going to die to Colonova, and then you want to have some remaining against the Banshees. Oof. Rough game, really rough game. And now we got the Lich level 5. I'm a bit of a hipster Lich player. Nowadays against Knights, I like to skip Dark Ritual and go uh, Frost Armor level 2 on level 4, right? And then sometimes even play Frost Armor level 3 on level 5 Lich, which is probably not better than Nova, but I think it's super cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we don't see that here. Happy has been doing a great job this whole series and tournament, also denying, denying experience away with Dark Ritual. Hawk 70 supply is down by a little. As happy as starting his expansion. Alright, six more teams. One of upgrades, at least. So, of course, you need to be focused firing the Banshees with the more teams. And that is working out kind of well. Kind of, sort of. I am. Oh my god! Close to dying. In the back we have Possession coming in. Possession over here. MK dies. Oh my god, there's just so many things happening. It's so hard to keep track of everything here. And so many Banshees to the left. Ooh, the Nova is huge on the mortar teams. And now we see more Possessions coming through. And a 1, and a 2, and GG. 2-0 for Happy. Good attempt by Hawk, you know? Good attempt. He got close. But it wasn't quite good enough. I wonder if he... If he doesn't expand, try to expand again for a third time and lose like 2,000 gold up there. Could he win that game? If he just pumps out units and just tries to creep up as much as he can while being stable on two bases. Maybe he could have won this. Next map is going to be 12 temples, I think. Happy's ready. Hog, if he gets second place here, he's still going to get $100. 200 for first. So, it's a decent little payout. Thank you, by the way, Vic Dejina with the 14 months and Phoenix Fast now subbing as well himself with a tier 3 sub. Phoenix, dude, you're going absolutely ham pajamas tonight. Thank you so much again and again. Alright. We go to Temple Isle. 
Shout out to all the Witcher 3 fans out there. And we're gonna see if the Eternal Fire can bring salvation to Hawk here finally. Oh, that's the wrong screen. Here we go. It's looking rough, boys. It's looking rough, let's be real. Happy. He just seems unbeatable sometimes. Sometimes he just seems unbeatable. You know, last year in DreamHack Winter, he was struggling quite a bit. Almost losing to Hawk, almost losing to Vortex, almost losing to Foggy. But the last three months... <laughs> How many, dude, over the last three months, how many maps has Happy lost? You know what, I'm gonna look that shit up right now. Gonna look that shit up right now. Takes me a second. 20202010, In the ESL Open Cup, on the 17th of May, he lost two maps to X-Lord. Before that, it was mostly 3-0s as well. He lost a map to Star-Shaped in the ESL Open Cup. So he does lose maps every now and then. But perhaps today is not one of those days. Starting off with Standard on both sides again. TK Fiends. Against the AM. And we're expecting an expansion. This is not the easiest expo to creep, as we've seen before. Is there a Merc camp here? There is a Merc camp here. Seems pretty far away from the main, though. A player's forces are under attack. To creep right away. Happy's not gonna harass right away. He's gonna start off with a bit of creeping. Creeping the first camp almost gives the player level 2. A town is under Which means this Acolyte would be sufficient for level 2. Uh, but it seems like Happy isn't going to give it away. Of course. Leaves the skeletons behind to finish the camp while the DK is already getting into position to harass. It's pretty sweet little play here as well. Oh, Happy Ooh. loses one skeleton to creeps. If you want to be super rude, you can call that a mistake. And it's level 2. Cost him a lot of mana though. Low HP DK and completely out of mana. So it's not going to be too easy to harass this expansion attempt now. And here come the boys. Seven called. That should be pretty safe camp. And the Acolyte wakes up the creeps early before the militia are here. Even with very little, Happy can do quite a lot. One footy gonna be taken out. But Hawk is not gonna try to play this game out. He doesn't like the look of it. And he calls for the GG. And Happy wins the smoke no smoking cup number three with three and oh.